Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. I, <laughs> I'm chatting there. If only you had something to type chat messages into, right? So we're still missing the dang form. So that's still kind of a major thing. So let's add a component for that. New component, we'll call it capital M message, capital F form, message form.js. I like that. We'll make it a stateless functional component until we know better. Import react from react const message form equals arrow function. Before I forget, export default message form. Don't need a render method because it's not a class. So just return some JSX. And uh, instead of a div with a class of message form, I'll just make a form with a class of message form. The whole component is going to be a form. I don't need an action, though. Yeah? Um, if it's inside the JSX portion, uh, to comment in JSX, um, if you're using VS Code, then the easy way is to hit uh, command forward slash or control forward slash. Um, but the answer is, so curly braces to do a JavaScript expression, and then that style of comment inside the curly braces. So wrap curly braces and that around. So it's pretty gross. Um, so that's why I do recommend using the keyboard shortcut. So if I put some other stuff in here, this isn't going to stay. This is just some, some other nonsense. If I highlight these lines and say command forward slash, then it does, it, does that for me. Uh, yeah, Con or control forward slash, the one with the question mark. So that always, that always does multi-line comments in whatever language you're doing. Um, and it is smart enough to know about JSX. Thankfully. <clears throat> All right. So what do we actually want in the form? Um, we want an input and a button. So let's do it. Input type equals text. I'll go ahead and give it a name of body. That's what it's really going to be, right? That's what we're going to type. I'll put a placeholder of type a message ellipsis. This is a little long, so I'm going to go ahead and put it on multiple lines. I do this a lot in React because as we start sending in lots of props, uh, these things get pretty long. Don't forget, this is JSX. We do need closing tags on everything, so input must be a self-closing element. Put the slash before the greater than sign there. Yep. Yes, uh, probably. I meant, I meant, I don't know. We'll deal with that when we come to it. I did intentionally say until we know better earlier. <laughs> yeah. We will totally want to do that. So let's make a button. I want us to actually change it from one to the other to get used to the idea that it's not hard. So uh, my button will say send. And it'll be submit type button. Seems legit. So where do we import that? Chat, indeed. So we will import message form from dot slash message form. And let's throw it in there. There we go. We have a form. Not much to it, but it's there. <laughs> 